Welcome to Ashland, Oregon. We are downtown here at the Ashland Plaza. I'm going to give you a little bit of a walk around, a little tour of the downtown area because you might be thinking about moving to Ashland or maybe you're just visiting. You want to know what is the downtown area all about. So I'm going to walk you around, show you some of my favorite spots, show you what Ashland is known for and uh, give you a little tour. So why don't we go ahead and start that right now with uh, the best place to start a tour in Ashland, which is the Plaza. So that's where we're at right here. And uh, one of the things that we're really famous for in Ashland is the lithia water. And so you see the fountain there behind me and this one right here, and even the little sign here that talks all about what the lithia water is. It's actually uh, mineral water. And I'm gonna read the sign uh, so I don't get it wrong because I was about to say it's actually uh, lithium that's in the water, but that's what's in batteries, not in the water. So it's uh, barium is what's in it. So uh, it uh, tastes gross. So, <laughs> but if you're in Ashland, you should check it out because it's kind of one of the things that we are famous for here. So anyways, we're gonna cruise around. Uh, again, this is the plaza that you see behind me. So it's the area that's kind of most popular, but it's the kind of the starting point. That's where a lot of the really good restaurants are and all that sort of stuff. And so uh, probably the best place to start a tour. But we're gonna cruise our way up Main Street here and uh, show you some of the different restaurants and just kind of what we got going on around here. Um, we're actually gonna make our way up to the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. So uh, before I forget, I'm gonna tell you at the end what my favorite restaurant in Ashland is. I'm gonna show you exactly where it is because it is spectacular. And if you're coming to Ashland, you cannot miss it. So if you catch me breathing a little hard, it's because Ashland's got some hills uh, and I'm not uh, a marathon runner or anything. So hills definitely affect me. <laughs> But uh, anyways, we uh, cruising up the way here to towards the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. And all you have right on the side of the main street here is a bunch of different restaurants, sushi restaurants, a couple of different bars, uh, all sorts of good stuff. Lots of art galleries. Uh, and you'll see that as we continue on as uh, with our little walk here. But on the right, Behind me, this is all kind of the Oregon Shakespeare Festival building. And we're going to turn onto Pioneer Street and continue on up the hill to where the Oregon Shakespeare Festival is, which you can see behind me up there. But show you just a little bit of a view around. So continue on up here, show you what this place is all about. The Oregon Shakespeare Festival, um, if you don't know, is probably what Ashland is most famous for. And it probably brings the uh, largest number of tourists into the area. It's really incredible. Um, the sign up here, you'll see in a second, says that it's America's first Elizabethan theater. And I'm not a, uh, you know, arts buff and don't know a whole lot about Shakespeare and all that, but I will tell you, this is actually uh, attracts people from all over the world to come see plays here at the Elizabethan Theater in Ashland at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. So it's a little bit of a hike up that hill. So excuse my heavy breathing, <laughs> but what a view behind me. And that's one of the things that's really cool is uh, because of these hills, you get some really incredible views uh, of the surrounding area. And that's one of the nice things about Ashland. It's very, very beautiful. So that's the Oregon Shakespeare Festival right there behind me. Lots of great plays like Shakespeare, different plays. And they're not all Shakespeare. Um, there's several different types. But um, anyways, that's what that's all about. So check them out if you're in town. You get a really cool uh, experience there watching the plays um, and in the various different performances that they have. So we will continue on down the hill here and make our way up towards um, the Ashton Springs Hotel, which is pretty incredible. Uh, really nice uh, hotel right in the middle of town, walking distance to everything, bars, uh, restaurants, the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, art galleries, anything you can imagine. Um, it's all within walking distance. So pretty cool. Beautiful venue for weddings, been a number of weddings there. Um, and uh, just a really a nice building. And I'll show you a, a picture of it as we walk up there. What you get um, along the, the way here, I'm just gonna turn it around so you can kind of see up 
the street. It's really cool. Beautiful trees, you know, line the streets. And just again, like more really nice shops, boutique -y kind of shops, art galleries, restaurants, all sorts of different businesses like you'd see at the normal, you know, touristy type towns. Uh, that really done a good job of, you know, updating the towns and making them look real nice for, you know, attracting tourism. So Ashland is no exception. They've done a great job of that. This is Varsity Theater right here behind me, a movie theater in Ashland. Uh, so another cool spot. And I think that's where they host the um, Ashland Independent Film Festival, if I remember correctly. And that's another big thing that draws, you know, a lot of people in to Ashland is this, you know, those different types of, um, I don't know, events that are really like arts centric. Um, yeah, it's something that's kind of unique about Ashland uh, here in Southern Oregon, but this is the Lark's, the restaurant in the Ashland Springs Hotel, which is really good. It's been a while since I've been there, but last time it was fantastic. And this is the Ashland Springs Hotel. So you can see kind of the grand entrance there, really pretty place. And we'll cross over the street uh, so you can get a good look at it in the background. Uh, anyways, this is the big one way that kind of goes through town here. Um, but hopefully you can see the Ash and Swiss Hotel behind me because it's really pretty. So I'll kind of zoom it up so you can see up and down, but really beautiful building. Uh, very historic. And again, like lots of cool stuff in there. Uh, wedding venue, great restaurant, beautiful rooms. So probably the nicest hotel in Southern Oregon, in my opinion. So if you're coming to visit, coming to check out some houses, uh, that's a great place to stay. Um, and I should probably mention, I'm Brian Simmons with EXP Realty. So. If you're thinking about buying or selling here in Southern Oregon, I'd be more than happy to help you, show you around, uh, all that fun stuff. So my contact information is in the uh, description of this video, or it's probably up on the screen right now, actually. So feel free to hit the pause button and give me a shout if there's anything I can do to help you. Uh, but uh, otherwise, let's continue on with a little tour here. So again, you know, just kind of with more shops and those sorts of things as we cruise down this side of the street, busy street, so there's some you know, traffic and stuff, obviously. But loads of just great uh, art galleries and all these different things, right? So um, one of my favorite stores, especially when I was a kid, uh, is coming up here that I think you're gonna really like. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it until we get there, but I'll tell you what, if you come into town, you come into Ashland or Southern Oregon in general, uh, and you have children with you, it's a place you're definitely gonna want to stop or they're gonna to want to stop at least because it's awesome so that's coming right up here in a second if you look up behind me you can see the hills in the background and so a lot of like hiking and biking um in those hills and and that's something that a lot of people in Ashland do and it's super popular for all the kind of outdoor recreational activities and stuff like that hiking biking and even the lakes uh there's immigrant lake which is really a great lake for paddle boarding and uh, kayaking those sorts of things so uh, a lot of uh, you know activity a lot of like recreating going on here uh, and that's kind of one of the big things that Ashland's well known for it's just all those different opportunities that exist so Another thing that Ashland's well known for, um, and again, let me get a good shot behind me here of the plaza because we're kind of coming, making our way back down towards the plaza and that's it behind me. Really just pretty, like lots of green, uh, beautiful landscaping, um, all that kind of stuff. But what I was going to say, the other thing Ashland's well known for is just its um, real like uh, priority it places on the uh, environment. and. And that's one of the things that's kind of a commonality among a lot of the res uh, residents. It's just like that really, you know, a lot of uh, emphasis on being environmentally friendly and sustainable and all that kind of stuff. Um, and here is the store I was talking about. This is the one that you're gonna wanna check out when you're in Ashley. Uh, Rock Mountain Chocolate Factory. Kids, you're gonna love it. I remember coming and getting caramel apples when I was a kid in there. So good, if you can see those in the background right here, those are awesome. So. Anyways, definitely worth scoping out. But yeah, I have no affiliation with the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory or the Ashland Springs Hotel, just as a FYI. Uh, but if they wanted to, you know, kick me a, a free room or something for a date night with the wife, wouldn't be opposed to that. Or maybe a free caramel apple for the mansion. I don't know, just throwing it out there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, so another great shot at the uh, plaza here. Really just 
you can tell why you know so many people enjoy coming here and seeing this place it's really really pretty uh so we're gonna pick a left up here go back through the plaza and i'm going to show you where that favorite restaurant is of mine which is right up here on the plaza and and this is there's more to downtown ashton than just what i'm showing you this is just kind of the main area but there's a lot of other stuff that if you go down the other side streets and stuff like that you'll find you, you know just more of the same more restaurants different uh cool little areas with uh little parks and different things like that so uh anyways definitely you know do some exploring when you're when you're here um visiting or when you move here it's definitely worth exploring so another spot that i think you're gonna want to check out is this bakery right here called mix bakery and it's awesome that's just kind of right here on the end of the line on the plaza so you can see it right behind me there mix bakery and then just a bunch of different businesses, restaurants, Black Sheep Pub is great, Greenleaf, really good vegetarian uh, kind of options and stuff there. Oberon's uh, is a really unique bar. It's kind of kind of funky, uh, really like, I don't know how you even describe it. It's kind of like a Hobbit bar, but really cool to check out if you're in town. But again, just more, you know, great shops and uh, boutique kind of stores, all sorts of fun stuff. My favorite restaurant is coming right on up here. So just hang tight. We're almost there. Right up here. Okay. It's called uh, Osteria La Bricola. And it is down this alleyway. And that place is fantastic. So I'll walk around and show you kind of what that's all about because it's really, really a great Italian place. Um, fantastic chef, really, really good food. And so I'll show you kind of what the, the back of that area looks like because it's really a uh, nice little setting back there and worth checking out. But let's keep cruising. Now we're kind of getting away from the plaza, which you can see behind me still. And we're going to enter into the famous Lithia Park. So this is where we're going to go check out. And I've talked about this place in a number of my videos. So you uh, have probably seen it. If you haven't, check out some of my other videos on Ashland and you'll see, you know, some really great shots of Lithia Park. But I'll take you for a little quick little stroll through one piece of it where you'll see couple of really cool things like the creek and uh, there's a pond that's just beautiful so we're gonna go through those really quickly here and then I'm gonna show you that spot that's the back of the Italian restaurant which is all right along the creek um, awesome spot to eat and there's several other really good restaurants that have uh, seating out there so it's a good spot to see if you're in Ashland so here's the show you the pond a little quick behind me so Lithia Park, again, just gorgeous park. Lots of really, really cool trees and plants all throughout. Let's find, you know, I've seen uh, classes going on in here, like exercise classes, yoga classes, uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Really just a very active type of a place um, and very clean. They do a really nice job of keeping this very clean. So. Let's see more behind me. I'm gonna cross over this way. So they have these bridges in various spots that uh, go over the creek, but my like, gosh, look at how beautiful that is behind me. All those pink flowers, really cool. So I'm gonna show you the creek behind me. They're a really cool shot. And um, yeah, that's goes all the way through Lithia Park. Um, really. I mean, just gorgeous stuff. So. Yeah, so let's cruise down here a little bit. And this is where there's really good parking. So if you're trying to find a spot to park in downtown Ashland uh, to go to like a restaurant or whatever, if you come on past the plaza and take, you know, a right, you'll come up onto the street here. And there's parking all along the street. So it's a good option for sure. Probably the most likely place that you'll find parking um, for if you're trying to go eat downtown or something. So that's just a little tip for you where to go because it can be tough like if you're trying to park on the street you can get lucky but it's uh pretty tough to do so here is the entrance to the area i was talking about where it kind of goes all along the creek you can see a creek right here but this is 
where we're at. So great little bar, or sorry, not bar, uh, brewery here called the Stout. Um, and they have all these seating, you know, tables right here along the creek. So awesome spot to grab a local beer or burger or whatever. And you can just see like great art on the wall, like just a really neat spot. Um, and as we kind of continue on, you'll see the other places here behind me, um, all the different, you know, restaurants that have their seating. So we'll just make our way down through here and conclude our tour down at the end here, but don't leave yet because You'll see right there, that's my spot that I was talking about. Asteria La Bricola. Can't come to Ashland without going there. Seriously. My last two birthdays since we've gone for dinner, it's spectacular. You will not be disappointed. So, um, in the little alleyway that we passed on the other side is right back there too. So, um, yeah. So this is all Creekside tables for dining at these different restaurants, um, like Louie's and uh, some of the others. There's just good spots. So again, I'm uh, Brian Simmons with eXp Realty. So if there's anything I can do to help you learn, buy, or list real estate here in Ashland, Oregon, or Southern Oregon in general, don't hesitate to reach out. My information is in the contact or in the description of this video, probably on the screen right now, but go ahead and check out the rest of the videos I've made about Southern Oregon. Uh, and I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.